Cristiano Ronaldo is one of the greatest footballers in history. He is definitely the footballer with the most fans in the world. Every boy has surely seen him as his idol once. Ronaldo is the man who made the world love football. Since the number of fans is very high, every move he makes falls on the agenda. In this video, I will show you the moments when Ronaldo shocked the world. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Let's move on to our video right away. In 2020, the whole world was dealing with the COVID-19 epidemic. <gasps> Curfew was declared in almost every country. COVID-19 was a contagious disease and was spreading very fast. Unfortunately, many people died from COVID-19. Deaths were happening so fast that there were no burial places for the dead people. Since a curfew was declared, many people could not go out and were depressed at home. Cristiano Ronaldo will be bored of staying at home, so he bought an island. It's really incredible. We've seen footballers or basketball players buying luxury homes before, but buying an island is a very different thing. Ronaldo bought this island to protect his family and children. While the COVID-19 outbreak continued, only Ronaldo and his family lived on the island. Entry from outside was prohibited. Ronaldo has a big house, football pitch, and running fields on this island. It is also one of the best places for a holiday. Ronaldo prefers this place if he is going on a boat trip. He definitely visits this island once a year. Cristiano Ronaldo was the club's most successful player when he played for Real Madrid. He started every match in the first 11. Real Madrid won the Champions League Cup for three consecutive years thanks to him. But in 2018, Ronaldo was unexpectedly transferred to Juventus. This transfer made a lot of noise. In the most successful time of his career, it was very illogical to leave the most important team of the period, like Real Madrid, and transfer to Juventus. Eu estou aqui. But Ronaldo had come here to win the cup for Juventus, which had not won the Champions League trophy for years. When Ronaldo set foot in Italy, many football commentators said that he would not be as successful here as in Spain. But this man was Cristiano Ronaldo. Ronaldo said he enjoyed surprising people. It was good. I like when the people doubt about me and I prove again that uh, one year was successful. Indeed, Ronaldo continued to score goals as soon as he arrived. Next year, Juventus and Atletico Madrid were rivals in the Champions League. Ronaldo scored a hat-trick against Atletico in the previous Champions League. Atletico Madrid wanted to avenge that. In the first match, Atletico beat Juventus 2-0. Juventus fans were very upset. Atletico fans were very happy. They were making fun of Ronaldo. Atletico coach Diego Simone provoked Ronaldo by making a rude gesture. Ronaldo told all the Atletico fans to wait for the second match. In the second match, Ronaldo scored a hat-trick. And Atletico said goodbye to the Champions League. Ronaldo responded to Simone with the same gesture. This woman, the earrings on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh. I think I know who that was directed at. Diego. Simone thus received the answer to his insolence. Many football players receive money from beverage companies. They advertise the companies. We can briefly call this sponsorship. Usually, when footballers make a speech at the press conference, the drinks in front of them are for advertising. But some of these companies threaten human health. For example, it has been proven by health experts that cola threatens human health and causes obesity. Cristiano Ronaldo is a footballer who attaches great importance to his health. In the past years, a press conference was organized for the Euro 2020 qualifiers. Cristiano Ronaldo removed the Coke bottles on the table before giving a speech. He said to drink water. by putting a water bottle instead. After this event, there was a big drop in Coca-Cola shares. Coca-Cola continued to lose value for a while, but it didn't matter to Cristiano Ronaldo. He cares about people's health. 
Ronaldo transferred to Manchester United with great hopes in 2021. Every team that transferred Cristiano Ronaldo was becoming champion. Manchester United fans were also very hopeful about this. Ronaldo performed very well, but could not make Manchester United champions. The following year, Ten Hag was brought in charge of Manchester United. Ten Hag and Ronaldo could not agree, and Ronaldo left Manchester United. It was a matter of curiosity which team Ronaldo would transfer to. Most people were saying that he would transfer to Sporting Lisbon, his former team. Ronaldo was also offered clubs from the Saudi Pro League. Ronaldo kept silent for a long time. Then he accepted Al Nasser's offer and transferred to the Saudi Pro League. This transfer made a lot of noise. They signed a two-year contract for 200 million euros a year. With this contract, Ronaldo became the highest paid footballer in football history. Before the transfer, no one thought that Ronaldo would go out of Europe because a similar offer had previously come from Al Haylal, another team in the Saudi Pro League. But Ronaldo rejected it with a firm language. Ronaldo said at the press conference that the Saudi Pro League will come to much better places. And he played matches with his team. He kept scoring goals almost every match. One day, after a match in which he scored a hat-trick, he told the journalist who interviewed him that the Saudi Pro League will be among the top five leagues in the world. Step by step, I think this league will be the top five leagues in the world, but they need time, they need players, they need infrastructure. A lot of people made fun of Ronaldo for saying that. Nobody believed it. The next season, all the stars flocked to Arabia. Influential names like Benzema, Conte, Sadio Mane, Otavio, Fabinho, Brozovic started playing for Saudi teams. The Saudi Pro League has become a league that is developing more and more. Thanks to Ronaldo, the Saudi League started to be watched from every country in the world. The day Ronaldo said that the Saudi League would be among the top five leagues, no one believed him. But today, they were all shocked. Ronaldo said that the Saudi league is more competitive than the French league at the Global Football Awards. To be honest, I think the Saudi league is not, is not uh, worse than French league, to be in my opinion. You have two, three teams with a, with a good level. In Saudi now, I think it's a more competitive. They can say whatever they want, it's just my opinion, and I played there one year, so I know what I'm talking about. But I think right now we are better than France League, so we still improve. He is really right in this statement. You may not believe him now, but in the future, you will realize that the Saudi League has developed much more. Ronaldo was one of the best free kick takers in the world in his youth. 35 yards and more. Too far for Ronaldo to think about it. Oh! So much so that at that time, there was no other player who could use free kicks as well as him. But as he got older, Ronaldo started to struggle with free kicks. He could no longer score goals from a long distance like he used to. Until that day, on 18th of March 2023, Al Nasser and Abha faced each other in the Saudi Pro League. Abha dominated most of the match. Al Nasser couldn't score a goal. In the 78th minute, Al Nasser won a free kick. It was a long way from the goal. But as I said at the beginning of the video, nothing is impossible for Ronaldo. Ronaldo took the ball, he sends the ball into the net with a great shot. It reminded the audience of the goals he scored in 2008 when he played for Manchester United. A truly magnificent goal. So we came to the end of our video. For similar videos, you can check out other content on my channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. See you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like the video. Goodbye.